You're listening to Ignite Your Success, a podcast that inspires fitness professionals to build a strong business that enables them to serve more people and engineer the lifestyle they desire. It's Brad Shepard here, and together with Jason Yabanowicz, we're best known for running Trainer HQ, a community of passionate and profit-hungry fitness business owners that make a massive difference in others' lives every day. Each episode will unpack for you exactly what's working and deliver best practice strategies so you can confidently grow your business and make a huge impact. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Ignite Your Ultimate Success podcast. I'm Brad Shepard from Trader HQ, and I'm joined today by our superstar client, Mrs. Tilly Conius. How are you, Tills? I'm so good, Brad. Thanks for having me. Did I get Conius right there? You got Conius. I'm just loving your uh, radio voice right now. (laughs) It's so great. Well, you told me I had a head for radio before, so I'm going to... Get a run with that. Oh, mate. <laughs> Get in the frame more. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. How are we? I'm fantastic. I love being here. I love talking about these these things and and how you've helped shape my business. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'm, I'm super pumped about this one because we've, we've definitely got a lot of ground to cover. So I'd love to take like, people listening to this and tuning in on a bit of an exploration about like, you know, what got you to the point where you are now. But can you just give us like a brief snapshot into like your current business as it stands today? Okay, so right now, today, I've got a private one-on-one PT client base. Yep. Um, we've also got the semi-private model where I have between four to six and sometimes 10 or 12 on the weekends. We have little groups that come along, which are fantastic. We just launched our online app, which Drum is, roll. yeah, which is just, <laughs> that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother playing field, but that's just been absolutely incredible. Yeah. And just a little, a spoiler alert, like we'll, we'll get to into the detail of the, like the online that you've launched, but how many people have we got subscribed to the app currently? It's over a hundred now. Whoa. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How good. So we've got a lot to unpack in that. So three, I guess, really the way I view it, three different, um, let's call it income buckets, one-on-one face-to-face PT, uh, semi-private, four to six people, and now we've launched the online, which is super cool. Correct. But it didn't just, didn't just start like that. So somehow you got into the industry. So ha- roughly how many years ago w- did you make the decision and what actually got you into the fitness industry? How it all started, um, this was, I was in my late 20s and I was doing Pilates. I was doing Pilates and I actually asked the instructor, I said, are you, can, how can I be a teacher? Can I be a teacher? She goes, yeah, I'll train you. Um, and that's how it all started in terms of getting used to training people. I did that just as a side hustle on the weekends. Um, and I did that, I think I've always done that and, that, and, and, and then slowly it migrated. Um, I've been through a couple of different careers, but I've always come back to fitness. Mm. Um, Fast forward a little bit, um, after I had my first baby Nora, which was six and a half years ago, my brother-in-law opened a gym, um, Orange Theory Fitness in Ascot, and he asked me to come along and be a head trainer. Mm. Yeah. There you go. So pretty much that time was kind of like your introduction to moving full time in the fitness industry. 100%. Yeah. What, What industry were you in? What were you doing prior to that? Fashion. I was in fashion brand management, so mm. I was flying all over Europe, Amsterdam, Milan. It was um, it tough, was gig. tough gig. Tough Someone's gig. Someone's going to do it. Honestly, it's not as not as glamorous. No, it's not as glamorous okay. as you think it is. But it's yeah. very, very cool to travel. So you would, would have had some fun times, but some stories so to cool. tell. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. So Nora was born, and then you moved into Orange Theory, and so you moved into the, there as instructor plus, you know, helping assisting to run the place. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He- head coach. I really wanted to focus. I'm, and you know this about me. I'm horrible at admin, so I, <laughs> I didn't. No, I had to no, no all the back there. <laughs> I'm the worst student there, but um, I my focus was the members, nurturing them, caring for them, instructing them, looking after them, and looking after uh, coaches that that I had with me, and that truly, I learned so much. I learned so much for that. It was very hard to leave that. Yeah. Um, and I left that. It, that that was during COVID. 
Yeah, gotcha. So what, a, what a time to be alive, hey? One hundred percent. So we were in full swing. I think we'd been only been open maybe eight months, and then COVID hit. Everything was shut down. Yeah. We were doing Zoom, online training, everything like that with our members, and through that, my members were just messaging me and saying, "Can you come over and train me, Tilly?" Mm. And you could, like you you were allowed to. That's right, one of ones and so exactly yeah. out in the park in yeah. the backyard. Yeah. So socially distanced, of course. But um, <laughs> and that and, that, and that's how it all started. And word got out, and I was taking on more clients and going to their houses. And when restric- restrictions eased, I could travel further. Um, and it got to a point where I was just traveling all over Brisbane, wasting so much time driving, but I loved it. I loved it so much. That's cool. So you're pretty much the, uh, the, the mobile PT at that point in time. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And yeah. I loved it. Clocked up some miles like that, that's for sure. I bet. Well, you're full of energy, so I could just see you doing that. You would just been taking it in your stride, wouldn't you? It's so good. You know, this is the people you get to meet and the families that you're, you know, brought into it's, yeah it's awesome that's cool so mm. then you had a chance to, to move into a facility so yeah. roughly when did that occur oh was it about it was over a year and a half ago now yep. i was i was asked i have uh just a, a friend he had a little private gym in newstead he goes till i've got a couple of other trainers it's not a public gym um and they just train their clients out of there would you like to do that great and i was really hesitant at first i was like oh wow but will my clients come? I was like, no, I don't know if I can do this. They're not going to come to me. Um, and fast forward, you know, three months, they all traveled, gained more clients, and here we are today. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's, a, it's a great story. And that's actually not that long when you look back, hey, on that, that timeline. So no, that turnaround, yeah, three, you, three years. You were massed and operating out of the facility. I mean, when we met, which is now we're going back, a, you know, a bit over a year ago. Yep. Um, you know, you were you were cranking out a, a decent number of one-on-one sessions, weren't you? So roughly, like, how many sessions a week were you, were you hitting back then? Oh, you always ask me this. I can <laughs> get it right. Look, I was doing about 13, 14 back-to-back privates a day. A day, you a were. A day. <laughs> we shattered. Absolutely shattered. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you taught me to work smarter, didn't you? <laughs> Well, we, we had some discussions around that, didn't we? You, you. Well, I mean, what was the turn? Because I guess let's let's go back to that moment, and I'd say from you know from the outside looking in, you you built a, a good following, you you had a good number of clients coming through, there was good cash flow coming through, but what was the turning point for you to say, hey, I need I, I need to reach out and possibly get some help and so forth? I was burning out. I was burning out, I was uninspired, um, not by my work, but just mm. am I going to be able to maintain this? Mm. I've got two girls now, um, four and six, and I was missing out on so much of their life. Um, I was working mornings, I was working evenings, I was working weekends, and I'm like, it can't be this, it can't be this hard, like there, there's got to be a way of working smarter. And that's when I actually put it out on Instagram, the power of social media, oh my goodness. And I actually asked for help and I just said, guys, I'm struggling. I'm in a, I'm in a enviable position where I've got all these clients, but I can't manage them. Mm. Who, who is out there? I need a business coach. I need someone I can talk to. I need a mentor. And someone actually tagged you. Yep, they did. Rest that's is history, that's right? right. I think within, <laughs> within 15 minutes, we were messaging each other. We were on a phone call and um, yeah, I guess we, we took it from there. Yeah. And I actually went through a couple of others. I had a chat to a couple of others and we just didn't click. And when you and I spoke, we were like, yeah, let's, let's do, do this. this. <laughs> <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was, and then you said the other magic words that I heard you said to me, I've got a waiting list. And you said, I said, what sort of waiting list are we talking here? And you, you, you said, I've probably in the last two months been messaged by 60 plus people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we had over about 85 at one point on this wait list. And I was like, I don't know. And then I felt horrible because I'm just, I can't. I can't. I can't take you on. How do I do this? It's a great problem to have. I've got so yeah. many questions from what you just said. But first things first, let's talk about, I guess, your family life. Two beautiful girls, beautiful family. With Dim, shout out to Dim. He's going to get a special mention very soon. I know but, he's your favourite. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that, don't you? It's oh, like me really and Dim. Is. Gonna, he's everyone's favourite. We get to um, we get to sort of compare our beards and do all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> romance. Tell me how do you 
how did you, how did you, I'm not sure if the words juggle, but you know, how were you able to sort of maintain the family life of the young family and all that? Because there's, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, people in your situation who are going, how the hell was she able to achieve all that? Yeah, look, it's, it is, it is hard. It is a struggle. Um, and it's something that I know that I needed to do for myself to build something on my own. And Dimitri, my husband, has always been so incredibly um, supportive of that. And I think once he realised, and we both realised that it was really starting to gain traction, he he does he wakes up with the girls every morning. He does breakfast. He gets them ready for school. He does daycare drop off and then school drop off. Mm. That is that's a luxury that I know a lot of people don't have. He works from home. Um, so we're incredibly lucky that we have that dynamic and then I do all the pickups in the afternoon So we call it a tag team. Yeah, um, and he can sit down and do his work while I've got the girls take them to sport and everything like that It's taken years t- t- To make this work and to figure it out But it, it works for us and trust me. I get the mom guilts every week every week It doesn't go away, but knowing that we're we're, we're working to something that's helping our family to support our girls um, it, it makes it all worth it. Yeah, it's so cool. It's such an important message, and the, I guess the thing I take away from it is that when you when you're driven by a desire, you're driven by a passion, and you, you can find ways to make it work. And uh, for you know, that's the beauty of that, and that's where you go. We've got the complementary skills. We've got the complementary team there, who who um, everyone puts in their bit. And that's the word teamwork, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because what time do you clock on generally with clients every morning? Five fifteen. My classes start, mm. and then I'm back to back uh, till about midday every day. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And we uh, some changes we made. I mean, one of the first ones was to go, okay, let's start to think, um, you know, slightly differently. So we did speak about online that was part of our you know it was part of our mission at the start mm. however it's like all right how do we make some immediate changes in the business and probably the one of the first moves was to, you know start to put in the semi-private yep. um so tell us about that transition and how that was received and so forth that scared me mm. um just with dynamics of people and obviously i work predominantly with women um but once i started to understand how people work together i was able to actually put together people that I already trained, which freed up other spaces for more clients. I think there's a big a big thing that we need to do as coaches and, and personal trainers is understand how people work, what they respond to, and how you can place people together. Um, and it's worked brilliantly. Um, so duos, trios, groups of four, groups of six, it's manageable. And we, we ended up turning, I've turned every 5, 15 a.m. group because it's such a great time for people, especially mums. They can get in and out before their kids wake up yeah. um, into groups of six. So every morning at 5.15, I've got groups of six um, and then my 6 a.m. are the duos. I've got one private or their trios. So we're making the most of those really high traffic times. Yeah. And through a booking system, which is also fabulous, um, and it's just it's just been the best the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, it's it's great to watch, and I guess the other part, the other benefit is, of course, looking at your per session rate. Like, so for anyone listening to this, you know, I can earn, I can turn up and do one on one session. I can earn X per session. Mm. What you're able to do was at least double, and in many cases, triple your per session rate. Exactly. Which is, you know, once again, you go in terms of that exchange of time for money. It's it's like how do we start thinking creatively and differently in business? And it's very easy for anyone to get locked into, hey, here's what I need to do, and the only way for me to potentially increase my earning is to do more sessions and that was definitely something you didn't want to do right <laughs> exactly oh, yes. I know I fought you on that for a long time <laughs> <laughs> the other benefit of course is and um, you know is that you got now clients who get to do more than one session with you at you know uh, less fee right so exactly. it's like okay now I get to come and do two sessions with you at the same price that I would have done one and so again there's there's benefit there so it's just win-win all, all over the place exactly it's not even two most of them are doing three or four which mm. is fantastic yeah so you just mentioned about putting some of these systems into place and so that was also a big part of it so just explain the, the sort of the early stages of us putting all this stuff in, in into place oh admin back of on payment oh it's something you just hate talking about right hate following up clients it's like you owe this blah 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 I had a lot of clients playing me in packs so I had to make sure that 
you know, you'd mark it off if they'd late cancel, if they cancelled within a certain period of time and then you have to reschedule them. It was just becoming a nightmare. People, I had people on people direct debit. Transferring money to your transferring account, weren't they? And cash, yeah. like it's all, you know, um, it, it was an absolute mess. <laughs> <laughs> and that was what, that was another huge one. So we actually didn't really know what was coming in every week. Mm. Um, and you have pretty much kicked us up the butt and say, you need to put everyone on direct debit. Yeah. And we did that. Yeah, it's yeah, and the result of that's been great, right? Huge. Yeah. Huge. And put your systems, your policies, your processes in place, and yeah, that's been that's been excellent to totally. watch. And my my biggest fear was that people would say no. I don't want to do that. Yeah. No one. And no one said no. <laughs> I don't think you've had a no yet, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But <laughs> the, I think it's a I think it's a really great point because for any trainer listening to this, like no matter what level you're at. It's, it's really the conversation that goes on inside your own head, which could potentially be a limitation. So 100%. No one likes talking about money, but at the end of the day, you've got to put those procedures in place from the beginning. Otherwise, it does get money down, down, down the track. Um, and people want to support you. You know, they understand that you're running a business. Mm. Um, don't be one of those people that just take all the cash. You know, at the end of the day, the bank's got to look at it. If you want to take out, if you want to buy a house, if you want to get a mortgage, it's got to be there. Yeah. Um, so it's it's so important. It's your livelihood. Yeah. And then you mentioned just briefly on your uh, the, the, the admin for you and <laughs> your connection with it. Uh, I do remember we had one moment where I'm, I'm getting you to track your weekly data and your weekly stats and they got a little bit behind, didn't I? I gave you an ultimatum, didn't I? What did I say? Option, put your stats in by Monday. Option one was, um, if you don't do it by Monday, um, shave all your hair off. <laughs> or option two was, we'll find a dog shit on the street and you have to eat it. <laughs> that was the two options, wasn't it? <laughs> Look, it's, uh, you've, you, you've literally kicked me up the butt so many times, but that's why I need you, right? <laughs> it's, you know, and uh, look, I'm trying, I'm trying to get better. Now, I, mean, I, I, I can acknowledge my downfalls <laughs> and that is, that is it. I've always had it. Yeah, I can't remember if the, the data entered, got into the, entered into that spreadsheet somehow. No, I can't remember if you entered it in or... Here we got, go. Here we got, go. You now got. you're about to see my husband come in as the, the saviour <laughs> <laughs> because he is. Oh, you got Dimmy too. So, but I mean, you know, special, special mention to Dimmy and, and your guys' relationship because you guys have a very special relationship. And I guess from a, a, you know, a business point of view, it's really great because you've got these uh, awesome complementary skill sets. Which is which is really cool to watch. So do you want to just explain Dim's role in all this and and, and, and the part he's played? Oh, let's we'll, we'll break it down simply. He's the behind the scenes guy. He does all the <laughs> stuff that I hate to do, but he is so good at it. He's methodical. He's an intellectual. He's he's also very creative. He's a videographer. His background is in marketing. So you put me, who loves just to be in front and talk to people and him in the background, we're, we're a fantastic team. Um, so yeah, he's, he's the software guy. He's the, he's the guy that you email if you've got an issue. Yeah, um, he is, yeah. He makes the, the web, web things pages, do not landing work pages. Without those people and he is the, the most, he's the MVP. Yeah, yeah, he's got, he's got an eye for precision too, so. Oh, doesn't he just. Big shout out, so yeah, I can't remember for that time, but I guess the entrepreneurial spirit is all about delegation, right? So at that point in time, as <laughs> stats, maybe you did delegate that. <laughs> or he went, Un hey, Unknowingly? Hey, no, hey, just look, took it hey, over. I'll, I'll take the fall for this one. I don't want to see you shave your hair or eat dog shit, so. Oh, no, I did ask him. <laughs> Can you it, please help me? Fat, interestingly enough, I've mentioned this to you guys before, your, the way you guys work is very much the way myself and HP, my wife worked in, and so 20 plus years ago and I was, you know, as I was building Peak Physique back then, I was really great at going out there and finding the clients, I'm finding you. the trainers, and building she's the business, the yeah. <laughs> getting, the, getting the money and all that sort of stuff. But I was, you know, sucked at the back end, quite frankly. And the, when HP come along, she's meticulous. I mean, she sits there at, at breakfast and she's got a coffee and she's looking at the bank accounts and I walk past and I go, you're in your happy space again, are you? <laughs> But she, you know, at that point in time, for me as a as a business owner, this is probably now twenty five years ago. It was like when she came on board. And I had a couple of trainers on board. We were making some good money, and when we drew a line in the sand, I was thirty thousand dollars in debt um, just through poor management of, of 
when you think money. you're killing it and you're in the red. That's right. You you would have said to me, hey, much how much you making? I'm you know making six seven grand a week, whatever you know. And it's like it was it was an absolute mess. And so for me, that was a turning point. It's like having the right type of person on your team that can go, okay, let's put some systems and processes in place. And oh, you need that. You consequently, need I mean, the beauty of that is it, it's it's you know. 25 years later now, and all the years we've been teaching this, you can you know how meticulous I am with this stuff now, You're right? You're a well-oiled so. machine, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> but I definitely learned from my own mistakes. <laughs> Let's switch over to branding because we spoke about the videography stuff and, and so forth. Now, yes. when you know, someone visits you and you're heavy on, on Instagram, you've built a really good brand, you've really built a really good uh, following as well. Um, tell us a, a bit about, like your, your, I guess, your overall concept and your philosophy behind that. I think it's authenticity, um, how to be relatable. Um, I'll never forget when someone said, find your niche. And this was many years ago, and it's always, it's, it's out there a lot now, but it's really find your niche. You don't have to cater to everyone. And if you do, you, you're going to find it tough. Um, and my niche is mums. My niche is women, um, predominantly mums. I am one, so I am incredibly relatable. Um, the way I actually built up such a following with my clients and potential clients, I was just videoing them, putting together a little story every day and posting it about the fun that we have. It wasn't so purely focused on movement, it was, it was focused on the enjoyment and the relationship that I have with these clients. I'll never forget a friend who I don't see that often, but she messaged me and she goes, Tilly, this is the best marketing that you could possibly do for your business is the, are these stories. And I didn't even realize it. I was just doing it. I was like, this is cool. Mm. This is what I'm about. I'm going to put it out there. And it's, it, it, it turned into something that I didn't even realize it was pretty much free marketing. It took me 20 minutes a day to do. Um, I did get a little bit of, um, uh, push back from some other PTs they're like why do you film during it that's you know you can't you've got to be I was like this is what I'm about yeah you've got to be real um, and authentic and I think that's that's why I am where I am right now is I'm is I'm always just going to be real about it yeah it's it's so cool and, and you, in terms of I mean the look and the aesthetic as well that's for, so if people, if people want to go and check it out, where would where would they go to? What's the Instagram handle? Just Tilly Conius, just my name. And spell yep. that out. T i l l i c o n i a s. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth you know people to, to you know those of you who are following this and going, hey, I want to want to see what this is all about. <laughs> it's um so. <laughs> You've also got uh, the, you also bring the the fashion and the family into it as well. So talk about that part. So it's not just purely fitness. I think that's also something that I've always put on Instagram is that I won't always be purely fitness. And I've said that from the beginning, um, staying true to what I believe because I the way that I train my clients, it's not all just about fitness. I look at their lifestyles. Um, and my lifestyle is not just fitness, it never has been. I've had a huge background in fashion. Um, that was, you know, for over a decade I was involved in the industry. I'll always love it, even though I only wear Lululemon pretty much these <laughs> days. <laughs> People see me in normal clothing and they don't even recognize me. Yeah. Um, but look, it's my life is my kids, my life is my husband, my life is fashion, my life is skin and things like that and it's all relatable um, and it's all part of, of, of what I do so yeah I'll always continue that. I'm not looking for a bajillion followers on, on, on Instagram if you you know follow want to follow the algorithm and do it that way then yeah you'll get that but mm. that's not staying true to me so you're going to get a bit of a mixed bag um, but it's always me. Mm. It's always real. So good, and really great point you make to it. It's something we speak about consistently. It's going uh, follower numbers. You know, I see a number. At the, it doesn't impress me until I hear what you know. What a result does that have? And you yeah. go for for the followers that you've got, the business you've built. It's just it's incredible. Oh look, I've only got five thousand. Like I say, only five thousand. And you know, comparatively to other fitness influencers out there, I'm not a fitness influencer. I am a motivator. I am, uh, you know, I want to be inspirational. I want to help. I want to support. And, you know, but the engagement, I think that's what we need to focus on. It's not the amount of followers. It's the engagement that you get from those followers mm. and how you bring them in and want them to get to know you and be a part of what you're doing. And that is something that I will always strive for. I think that is probably the most important 
thing to, to utilize on social media. Yeah, so good. And then as a direct result of all this, this has brought in opportunities for you. So let's, you know, we've spoken about your core business and, yep. and everything that's happening there. But tell me now about like the likes of Lululemon, Fit As, um, Indrapilly Shopping Center. <laughs> like, <laughs> so t- talk to us about a few of these things. We'll f- talk about the Lulu thing first, because that's definitely a big yeah. deal, right? Oh, look, and this, this happened, my journey with Lululemon started over six years ago, yeah, just after I had Nora. So yeah, six years ago, I was asked to be an ambassador for the James Street store. Um, So every store, Lululemon store around Australia, they have a certain group of ambassadors and that you are invited to be an ambassador. You can't just put your hand up, you're invited by the group. Mm. Um, So I I was invited back then and through then I had another baby, I, my ambassadorship was extended um, and then I was off boarded for a year and then last year I was actually asked to be an ambassador again for the James Street store. So I'm third time ambassador, I'm probably the oldest one, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, it's been incredible. Um, I will also say to this, and this is something that Dimitri, I remember when I was off boarded and I, I was like, oh my God, I'm never like, I don't have a brand behind me now people are going to see me differently or they're not going to see me the way that you know they used to and he just goes brands don't define you you know they're lucky to have you they've asked to have you on board and once I shifted my mentality to that that's not taking advantage of a situation Mm -hmm. it's just working with a situation to your advantage um, cohesively and you know together and the relationship that I have with Lululemon now is incredible I know that I can ask for things and they'll be like hey Till let's see let's workshop and see if we can bring this to life and they have been so supportive with so many things um, and I, I can't thank them enough I've had some incredible opportunities with them yeah it's such a great company and, mm. and so cool I mean I look yeah. at my wardrobe top to bottom socks to <laughs> Socks well, now shoes. shoes. To... Now they're doing shoes. Yeah. Crazy, well, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, training gear. I mean, suits, uh, jackets, pants. It goes the whole way through. Yeah. But you did a few burpees in, in sort of combination with them. Tell us a bit about that. Tell us what the cause, the why. It's funny how it all just, it all intertwines. So Lululemon became an official partner of Movember uh, three years ago, I believe. Mm. And at, during that time, we had an ambassador huddle where all of the ambassadors in Queensland get together and we sit down <clears throat> and we have a chat. And they actually asked us, they said, guys, this is what we're doing. If you want to be a part of it, let's have a discussion. Anyone put their hand up. And obviously, Movember supports prostate cancer, mental health and testicular cancer. And my father died of prostate cancer 11 years ago. So I put my hand up and I was like, yep, I want to get involved. Um, I'll do 50 burpees a day because they are horrendous and I'd love to raise $3,000 over the course of the month Mm. and they were like cool let's do it and then I started filming every single burpee that I did (laughs) I put it up on social media I started talking about why I'm doing it and fast forward to the 30th of November I had done over two and a half thousand burpees and raised over thirty five thousand dollars yeah that's huge it's just crazy it's just crazy and from then i became an ambassador for movember australia oh wow that's cool i didn't know that bit yeah there you go so i've been ambassador with them for the last two years yeah yeah. and that was all through my connection with lululemon yeah just the power of community and the power of you know doing something yeah and that, uh, what I noticed around your community then is that everyone else was chiming in, right? So. Oh, we were getting people <laughs> all over Brisbane. I was just going around to random businesses doing burpees. We had people overseas doing burpees, filming them, sending them in. And it became, it became this movement. Mm. And that's not to sound, you know, stuck up or anything, but it became a movement. And last year was my third year doing burpees. Um, I did over 5000 last year. I think in total we've raised How close to $90,000 over three years just from burpees. Wow, that's it's, huge. Yeah, it's just crazy. So how many did you do every day? Because like, this was only a couple it of months It kept going ago. up and up and up. Okay. <laughs> I said first year was 50 a day and it went to more. Second year was 100 a day. Yeah. And last year was 150. And then one day we did this activation with Lululemon on James Street. I ended up doing almost 550 a day. <laughs> I almost huge. broke myself. Um, but yeah, it was it was an incredible experience. And you break them up, would you? You like you might do 
10 here, 20 there, or did you, were you mostly do them in one hit? Um, oh, look, the most I've done in one hit was, I think it was about 80, but I, look, I, I still had to work. Yeah. So, but I had to get them done Clients in my head. Clients them, you jump in with them. Yeah, you do it. 100%, yeah, yeah. 100%. I would never program them, but anyone who wanted to jump in with me. And the yeah. gym, I had all these other guys jumping in, other people's clients doing them, restaurants donating dinners and experiences to auction off for, you know, money to go towards the foundation. It was just the most beautiful community experience. That's great. And, yeah. So good, so good. I love it. Which then leads me to the next point. I want to speak about your, your, the launch of your online because it's something yes. we've worked together on and, you know, it's been a, a, a great and exciting project. And I guess first things first, explain to us, you know, your, your, the reason why you wanted to create this, this online app and, and, and deliver that to, the, to people. Again, it's, it's uh, let's, let's work smarter, not harder. And there's only so many hours in a day. And I, I've got to be able to see my girls have some downtime and not burn out. So how was I able to reach more people by doing what I'm doing? I think online for so long for me scared me. You're putting yourself out there to criticism, to, to, to people to view what you do and to, to bring you down. Um, and I get that, I really do. For anyone who's scared of doing it, I totally get it. Um, but it was something, it was a necessity for us. And I don't mind being in front of the camera, it's, 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 I, I feel comfortable, so, you know, that's cool. But putting my, my ethos and my, what I do out there really, really scared me. But it's something that I've realized I actually implement with my clients. I'm like, well, why wouldn't I do that? Why wouldn't people want to be a part of that? So I pitched it to Brad, and, and it's how I've actually been training with one of with my PT, who's actually in Melbourne. I do online training with her because I need to be kicked up the butt. I hate doing my own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so I do three full body workouts a week, and I do that for a month, and repeat them for a month, and then I get a new set. So it's very very simple. Yeah. And I just changed that a little bit where we're doing three full body workouts a week and you repeat that for three weeks. Mm -hmm. So three by three. Yeah. And through those three weeks, you're looking at progression. So you're looking first week, you're looking at familiarity. You're doing them with me from start to finish. Second week, you're looking at potentially increasing those reps. Third week, you're looking at increasing the weights or the rounds. So whatever works for you. Um, for those of you who know Hustle, the online Pilates program, I know Lexi through Lululemon. I met her years ago and she's always been incredible. We've always had a chat. If you haven't seen her, she was the one that pioneered online training through COVID. That's how she's built a multi-million dollar business. She is unbelievable. So give her a follow. She, I messaged her and I said, Lex, I'm looking at doing this. Can you give me any pointers? And she goes, Tilly, my best piece of advice, you need to do it from start to finish. People need to see you suffer and people need to know that you're doing it with them. And I was like, cool, okay, done. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and that's exactly what I do. I do these workouts from start to finish. Dimitri films them, he edits them. It's just him and me in this studio. The joinery, by the way, over in West End, they've been incredible. And he edits them, we put them together, and we put it out there. Um, do we talk about the app? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of people ask me what app we use and how we developed it. Oh, to create your own app costs, what, hundreds of thousands of dollars? We found a very pretty simple platform um, and it's called skinning an app so you can skin it. So, you know, you download it, you upload all of your own content, um, you do your own color thing, you put your branding and everything like that. And when you download it via the app store, it's your logo on the app. It's not the business, it's mm. your logo. So on my phone, it's the TCF app and you click on it and yeah. it's all me. <laughs> and <laughs> scary. Um, and, and it's as simple as that. And it's a very, very small amount that we pay annually. Um, but it's, it's allowed us to be able to create this audience and create this income that has essentially sort of help save our family to, to, to a degree. Yeah, wow. And, That's you know, awesome. yeah, and we're at a point now where Dimitri and I, we're just like, we're, gonna, we're putting all of our efforts yeah. into working as this is our main income stream collaboratively yeah. for our family. 
That's awesome. And it brings us back to that technology. It's, yeah, yeah. The, the beauty of technology in, in this modern era is there are so many cool things out there where, again, you don't have to spend a lot of money to be able to get a really great result. You don't. And if that's, if, if that's what's stopping you, do your research. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> I didn't do it, Dimitri. <laughs> he brought them all to me. But, um, you know. So, really powerful message there, and, and so many of them. So you, your, your mission is to help more people, and like right now, 100 plus subscribers on there. Um, what, tell us a bit about some of the feedback you've been getting and what, what people have been saying about it and how, the type of people you've reached as a result of it. People have been loving it, and just to see those emails come through saying, blah, 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 has you know purchased a TCF plan, it's just like, ah, oh, Timmy and I give each other a high five every time <laughs> Ring that the bell. happens. Yeah, so yeah crazy, right? Um, it's, it's been fantastic. I think. There are so many people that I've met that I've actually never met in real life. Yeah. Um, it's the, it's the power of community. It's the, it's the power of 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 allowing someone to believe that they can start um, and you know. To be able to do three workouts a week is manageable. It truly is. Yeah. And, you know, I always say, you know, three weeks you start, you know, three weeks you'll you'll feel a difference, six weeks you'll see a difference, and in those nine weeks you've created a habit. Um, it sounds cliche, but it's it's so true. Oh, it's a reality. Yeah. It, it is a reality. And yeah. that's, uh, I'm here to, to hopefully allow people to to understand that for themselves yeah and if people are sitting there going all right how do i get on this app how, how do they find it where do they go to you can download it on the app store um <laughs> no otherwise um through my website it's so 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 simple um what's the website give us the address on that uh www.tillyconius.com.au um, um and very very simple spell it out for us T I W L -L I C O N I A S dot com dot A U. Very, very simple. Um, there you go, you've got a radio voice too. Oh, I've done a bit on radio. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, very, very simple. But yeah, check check it out. Obviously, there's a seven day free trial that you can have a look. So yeah. any, anyone who signs up, they get the first three workouts for free. Yeah, less um, than fifty bucks a month, isn't it? It's in forty something bucks a month, isn't it's it? It's forty four a month. Forty four a month. So it's yeah. eleven dollars a week. Yeah. Um, for three workouts, you know, we're, we're developing, you know, I've just spoken to a nutritionist, so we're, we're looking at doing simplified nutrition, simplified workouts, we've got some simplified meditation in the works as well, so there's going to be a lot more to add to it down yeah, the track. It's really exciting and, and watching the, the growth and the evolution of it, um, the, the new income stream that's come in and more importantly where, where the future heads for this because along the way, you know, collaboratively of, of us working together, you've been able to build a, a great following of course, you've been able to build a great database of people so you've yes. got, now you've got contact details. 100 plus people who are actually subscribed. 100%. And this it, is without doing any sort of paid ads yet. We haven't done any marketing. So to be honest, we're still in our soft launch phase. So we launched at what, 1st of December? Yeah. And now we're what, about to go into March and this is where we're going to start kicking in start YouTube, um, paid marketing, paid posts, um, boosting YouTube, everything like that. It's... It is so scary, but <laughs> look, if, you, if you're not doing it, you'll never know, right? Yeah, and now the conversation we've had also is that it also has provided the platform for you to further grow and expand your business. So Definitely. we now know that we've got people, and we, the, the model is the one-to-many model, okay? You've produced yeah. it once, you know, we get, many people get to experience this and be part of it. Mm. Um, what, what it's also being able to set up the platform for in the future is to potentially launch you know, a higher level of online coaching where you know it can be one to one and so forth and so the beauty of this is you are you are growing a, a list you are growing a following of dedicated people who we know historically are going to want the next thing and they're going to want the next level of service yeah definitely so let's talk about the, the future expansion plan so you do have right now it's it's i guess in many ways a solo independent operator you, you you're out there doing it we got Dim, so you guys are very much a team. Yes. However, you don't want to you do want to go beyond that in the future, right? Oh, definitely. Look, I think collaboration and taking on new team members is something that I definitely will have to look at in the future. I'm all I've always been one of those people uh, I hate asking for help. I think a lot of you can relate to that. Now I can do it on my own. We can't. We we truly can't. 
Um, but finding the right people um, is obviously, um, you, you just won't know if you don't put it out into the universe, right? Mm. So yes, I will be looking at taking some trainers on, whether it's for online or in person. I think that's very exciting next steps. I'm doing a lot with a, another brand called Fidaz with their online um, app as well. I've just filmed a program for them, which is about to come out in March, which is really, really exciting. So I think collaboratively, there are going to be so many things that I'm going to be doing with a lot of other companies and I will need to look after my in-person clients or take over some of the online. and. Yeah, that's another scary thing in itself, but yes, <laughs> put your hand up. Who wants to join? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, in all seriousness, if, you, if you're here and you're watching this, you're tuning in on Spotify, YouTube or whatever, and, you, and you're sitting there going, hey, man, I love what this girl's about. I want to be part of the, this experience, the TCF experience, then reach out to her, find her, because the, the, she said it here right now. In the future, there, there will be opportunities to join that team. Um, those of you who are sitting there going, I want to do what she's doing because I've got the entrepreneurial mindset as well, reach out yeah, to me, right? Do it, so, do it. <laughs> it's I'm... like, yeah, there's so many, the, the industry is just provides so many opportunities for everybody and that's the almost 30 years I've been in it, that's what I've seen is that, and you, again, it's that thing about asking and taking that first step, so. 100%, the worst thing you can do is think that you're the best in, in the business and you know, you you are the best in the business, but you know, every, like <laughs> keep talking. You know. yeah, lol. Um, <laughs> th th this is the thing. It's like I'm by no means am I the most experienced PT out there, but I, I love what I do, and I've got the reach, and I've got the people that that want to work with me. It's like you know, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that? Let's learn together. Mm. You know, you should always be picking up things from other PTs, seeing what they do. You know, make it work for you, or morph it into something that 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 works for you. It, 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 this this whole industry it, it needs to bring down that I'm the best and and really embrace the let's do this together to, to, to better help the people that we are training because none of this is about us it's all about our clients correct love it love yeah. it so good so good <laughs> well I think we've, we've pretty much covered off on, on many of these key points and we could keep going forever couldn't we oh, I wouldn't this. be able to do it without you my friend it's a, such a pleasure working with you such such a pleasure having you uh, and Dim I get I get the, the privilege of the two for one really don't I I, oh, I, I signed up with you he's just the greatest I got the bonus <laughs> yeah, how many times have we sat there and I've said nothing and so it's just been the two of you I'm like am I even needed <laughs> I'm just going to go down and make some lunch hello I'm here. <laughs> yeah. No, um, it's, it's been a beautiful working environment. Can't yeah. thank you enough, Brad. I 100% agree. And uh, yeah, just been an absolute pleasure to be part of your journey and, and watch it. And I guess we, you know, we see so many cool things on the horizon. So I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about that. So a huge congratulations on what you've achieved thus far. <laughs> thank you, my friend. And uh, more importantly, exciting times ahead. So once again, thank you. Bring it on. Thank you so much. Yeah, take <laughs> oh, Yeah. What is that song? <laughs>